guys i'm on this ride it says to hold on but it, oh, oh my gosh parker oh my gosh it's a bit scary I bet if you just closed your eyes and just listened to this without any prior context, you would think something crazy is going down. And I know I'm not the only one here because I looked before I found this video, right? I was looking in the comment section for this video and people in the comment section were like, hey, was this Corey World's POV when you guys were on the cruise? Becky, what happened to you on that chair? By the way, this is not like a ride ride. This is literally just like you go to an arcade and they got those steering wheel things or whatever it like emulates what it's like to drive like a NASCAR or something like that. It's like one of those things. So it's not like an actual ride or whatever. But when I saw this video, I almost couldn't believe like, is this Becky's first time? Is this, is, is this Becky's like, you remember back in the day when they did those Harry Potter movies and they came out with those like Harry Potter uh, broomsticks, right? These broomsticks, like the, the first iteration of these broomsticks vibrated now what do you do with the broomstick right you put it between your legs and these things were made for kids and a lot of they were totally recalled you can still buy them to this day by the way if you go on amazon uh you go on ebay you might find a few listings for like 80 billion times more than what they actually were and they retailed out they did have to discontinue them obviously because you can't just be having vibrating brooms that you're putting between the legs of children but this is what that reminded me of. Like, this is like the first time I've ever seen Becky actually like going crazy in an arcade. Nonetheless, there are children about Becky. What are you doing right now? Enjoying yourself a little bit too much. <laughs> <laughs> and what I love about the kid is like, he's, he's just chilling. Like Becky's out here literally crying, screaming. And then the kid's just like, yeah, what, what dude, what are you doing right now? Like, calm down, Becky. <laughs> Yeah, it's just like a need for speed game or something like that. I don't even, it's on rails. So I'm guessing you have to do something in order to beat the other person. I'm not really sure. It's been so long since I've been to an arcade. They all just like suck. It's so depressing in there. Everything's covered in dirt or dust. The dude behind the counter is smoking weed. He just gives away free shit. And you're just like looking like, hey, bro, um, the quarter machine's not working. He just looks at you like, yep. <laughs> Why are you even here, bro? Like I'm literally getting paid $13 an hour, less than minimum wage. And you're in this establishment, dude. What do you want, huh? Like, literally, some of the some of the things are literally broken beyond belief. It's so depressing to be in there. But when I was a kid, they were really fun. Not so much anymore, though. Well, I guess they may be fun if you're doing one of these. But then again, I don't really have any sensation. It's not like I'm gonna go into an arcade to sit on one of these chairs to feel a sensation in my butthole jiggling. Personally speaking, I don't really care if even if I had a butthole. Too many times I've been in a relationship with a girl and they. We're always trying to rim job my shit, which is crazy, by the way. Do you know anything about guys? Guys do not wash themselves properly, okay? I wash myself properly, so if you rimmed me, it would be 100% like okay and cleanly and all this other stuff. Um, but normally, if you were to rim a guy, you are dirty. That's fucking disgusting. Okay, I'm holding on. Sure, you hold on. Let's get Why is it hurt? Damn. <laughs> I swear, dude, if you just closed your eyes on that one segment, this would be like Becky's virgin experience. Like the day that we all lost our virginity right here. I just want everybody to close their eyes. Close your eyes. Close them. And just listen. Ow. 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 Becky. I did not expect this. Becky! <laughs> the kid's just chilling. Like, no... <laughs> no reaction at all, bro. And just Becky just blasted, dude. Just completely, like, d blown out the water, it seems like, from this very, very generic ride. <laughs> Yeah, don't watch the screen. Why, how can I watch the screen when I'm feeling so much? Oh my God, I gotta go on Amazon and invest in one of these. Maybe one that I can fit in my purse. Oh my gosh, they're all gonna be so 
the face of a woman that just experienced something for the first time, man. The face of an individual that's never going to look back. This is this machine. I wouldn't be surprised when Becky got up out of that machine. There might have been a little something extra that she left down on that on the on the seat right there, dude. Going to have to have one of the one of the one of the custodians come over and clean this up a little bit, dude. I, I don't know what happened exactly. I got up and it was something on the seat. I don't know what to tell you guys. This is like you ever watch those old TV shows where girls were like, oh, vibrators don't exist yet, so you have to sit down on the washing machine when it's working. Obviously, we have new things nowadays where you don't have to do that and you could just buy a vibrator and things like that. But this is a new experience for Becky. And you know what? I'm here for it, dude. I'm here for Becky experiencing new things. GG on you, Becky. It's takeaway night in the caravan. Looking tan as hell, bro. That filter ain't doing too much work on that tanning factor. Becky has been experiencing a lot of new things in her life. Ever since she's got her new friends, she's just been, I don't know, like she's just been a different person. And maybe that's good. Maybe it's fine that she has a new friend or two and they're telling her about new stuff. But I think it takes away from the allure, from the novelty, from the beauty that really is Becky, which seems to be a closed-in individual that doesn't have a lot of friends. I think it's good that she has, a net, she has good friends now, but it seems like they're changing her in different directions that may not be her necessarily. So I hope that she still maintains. Obviously, I think that she should not be maintaining the diet, but it seems like because of the friends that she's with right now, they're all enabling her the bad diet because they all do the same thing as she does. Okay, it's a little bit mannequin. -y. It's like being uh it's like being a crackhead and being like, I'm gonna be better now. And then you just find a whole bunch of crackhead friends. Yeah, guys, but I got a chicken kebab, nothing new. Damn. <laughs> um, and some chips, but how good does this chicken kebab look? Side, I guess. I mean, I don't know. I've never really uh, never in my life had a chicken kebab ever. I don't think I've ever had a kebab in general, so I mean the fries look okay though. Not sure where it's from, but it smells Where'd you order it from? What do you mean you don't know where it's from? Didn't you literally order it? Or did somebody else order it for you? I don't know. It was really well marinated. Um, and I've also got a can of Coke as well. So let's talk in it. It's gonna they gotta push back those cuticles, man. Like my cuticles are longer than hers, man. Do you guys see that? Let's see um, the cuticle and real I've quick. Also got a I'm subtly bragging about my cuticles right now. I don't really care about my, my fingernails necessarily. I know a lot of guys um, don't really do shit with their fingernails. And you know what? A lot of guys get a bad rep for taking care of their nails. I've literally watched on Pop the Balloon many times guys coming out there with pant with medicures or pedicures or whatever they call them. I don't know. For your fingers. Manicures? Pedicures? I have no idea. But anyway, they would come out with their nails done and these girls would go, mm, are your nails did it? Did you just do your nails? Mm, I, don't, I can't date a man. I can't date a man that had his nails done. That's gross. You gay? You gay? And you know what? Sometimes you look at these guys and you go, he might be gay. But if a guy does his nails, that doesn't necessarily mean he's gay. That just means he's take care of himself. He went to an Indonesian parlor and he got his shit done up. It's okay to take care of yourself as a man. You don't, not all men need to like use shampoo, conditioner, and deodorant as one thing. Not all guys need to not know how to wash their butthole, okay? There are some guys out here that are a little bit more feminine that can get their nails done and it's not necessarily bad. It's not necessarily gay. Could be gay, but it doesn't mean that they're gay right off the bat. And of Coke as well. So let's tuck in it. It's gonna be a little bit manic, but you know. I wish Becky would do something else with her hair, man. I'm sick of seeing the same hairstyle every day. You know, just living life. Um, chicken kebab, but yeah. I love that Becky's definition of living life is literally eating chicken kebab. That's beautiful, Becky. I love that about you. What oh, flavors on it? it? Smells lemony. Hey. Got a pepperoni on the top. Mmm. Mm. Yeah. It does smell really good and it tastes really good as well. Wow, Becky. Call it mayum dip as well. Wow. And got some chips as well. Damn, hands is fucking. What happened, Becky? I thought she just got over this whole thing of like the tanner being on her hands. Seems like she fucked up again. Why is Becky even wearing tanner? She's not that girl. You're not the girl that wears tanner, okay? It's just not the, it's not for you, all right? In the same way that you would never see me getting my nails done, you would, I would never thought I would see Becky wearing tanner. Why are you wearing that, dude? That's not you. It's okay to have your represent for your own skin color. You can literally sign language the N word with your hands. <laughs> I don't like the way she eats. <laughs> because I don't say, I don't say mayum. But people say that I do say mayum, but I say mayum. I don't. Chip? You just said the same word like three different times, so I have no idea what you're even talking about. I do say mayum, but I do say mayo, and I do say mayo. Can anyone spare a piece of garlic bread? Becky, you don't think you got enough? You don't think that the serving of fries and the serving of kebab was enough for you with that full fat coat? 
who nobody no listen okay nobody should be giving becky any of that garlic bread dude she doesn't deserve it okay what did you do to deserve it okay if you think you're being nice by giving her that you're not you're being mean no, <laughs> no thank you garlic bread Damn, how is this garlic bread? Can somebody let me know how this is garlic bread down below? It just seems like it's cheesy. It, it literally is in the shape of a triangle, which most things that are pizza are shaped like. And then cheese, crust, but no sauce. So I'm guessing just pizza without sauce. Uh, you can say, I guess it's made with more garlic than anything else, but still, it looks like pizza to me. You're just eating a slice of pizza. That's what I'm gonna, that's what I'm gonna say this is. Mm. Disappointed. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Oh, it's stringy cheese, right, Becky? You know, Becky, oh my God, guys, I don't like cheese. Cheese is so bad. I can't do it. I don't like it anymore. Stop it. That's you. Every single time. You don't like cheese. Yet, I always see you body slamming all the time. Cheese in your mouth, cheese on the floor, cheese in your throat, cheese in your stomach. It's cheesy all over the place. And you're out here representing the no cheese gang, but I've always seen you body slamming. Have some consistency, Becky. Good Lord, if you gotta eat like shit, eat like shit. But don't sit there and tell me you don't like cheese while I literally see 90% of the shit that you eat is cheese filled. <laughs> But this is really nice, guys, and I hope you're all okay. And, um, yeah, I'm going to get ready to go out tonight. What, didn't you have a fork earlier? I don't know why so many people are... If you see me eating something that requires me to use a fork, I'm not putting my hands on that shit. I don't know why I see so many people nowadays taking their food in their in their mouth, putting the food in their mouth, or uh, the, 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 they'll have residue from the food on their fingers. When I just saw you eating with a fork, well, what happened to the fork? You don't fuck with that shit no more? You are... Mm. Hi everyone and welcome to my what are you in a day. <laughs> Gotta go obviously to the Mackeys. Oh my god guys, I love McDonald's. Started off the day with a McDonald's breakfast because I was going shopping. Ooh, that shit looked like your grandfather's elbows right there, dude. You guys saw that shit? Ooh, them fingers is thick. <gasps> so I got two hash browns, a double sausage and egg McMuffin. Damn, a double? You got the double sausage McMuffin? God damn, what, the single wasn't good enough? That shit's big as hell too, Becky. Louise, Damn. It's got to be done when you go shopping. Then I did a workout, and then after that, I had some bourbon biscuits. Now I'm going to keep it a buck. I love that you're doing a workout. I do. I really love it. You do know that when you work out and you burn, let's say, 200, 300 calories, and then you eat away another two to 300 calories, you know it's almost as if that workout was completely meaningless. No, actually, I would go as far as to say it was completely meaningless because the entire purpose of working out is to get those few extra calories off your body. And then, of course, get a little bit of cardio in there. But for you, Becky, it seems like you're completely ignoring the main purpose of doing any type of exercise. Why are you right after eating cookies? <laughs> it just shouldn't be done. You're literally defeating the entire purpose. Becky, please, God, we need some consistency, okay? I'm happy that you're working out, which, by the way, is great. But you only do that once a week for some reason. And I'm not going to complain. Anything is better than nothing, I suppose. But once a week... We got to up those numbers, man. We got to get those numbers up to two, three times a week at bare minimum, man. I was, I'd love to see your legs moving three times a week. That would be great. I've already seen your mouth moving literally 15 times before your legs started moving. But I think before we do any type of movement with the legs, we need to do some movement with our hands towards things that are a little bit... A little bit less calories, okay? Let your hands do the talking and not your mouth because too many times I see you body slamming the wrong things. It's too many calories, Becky. You're out here literally swallowing down two, 3,000 calories a meal and I know you're doing that shit consistently enough to maintain this weight. The working out once a week ain't doing shit for you. If you know, bourbon biscuits are my favorite biscuits. I don't care. I saw <laughs> You know what? No, I don't want to be rude. You know what, dude? Yes, I'm happy that those are your favorite biscuits. I'm not trying to be rude. It's, a, it's great. I'm happy for you. Ever? And someone once told me it's basically the inside of a penguin bar. I did not know that. What is a penguin bar? We don't have those here. Then for my tea, I have... <laughs> so you have McDonald's for breakfast. Crazy. A double. You had a double sausage and you had two, uh, two hash browns. And now you got pizza. Is this pizza? <laughs> Why do you always look so uncanny when I see you in these videos? Why do you use that filter so OD there? I had a takeaway. So I went with my usual, but I... It's just like wet newspaper. It just looks like wet newspaper. The Donna, the Donna kebab or whatever this thing is. The, Do the Donna meat, the Donna meat. It's, listen, listen. Let, let me chat to you, bruv. Let me chat to you. Let me talk to you, mans. But let me tell you something, mans. It doesn't look good. Uh, I gotta keep it a buck. It doesn't look so much as like as, as a topping. It just kind of looks like they threw it on top of the pizza. It looks like they made a pizza 
and just toss that on there. No rhyme or reason. It'd be like the equivalent of they made pepperoni and just took the stick of pepperoni and just tossed it on top. It doesn't look good. You, you should just ask for it on the side. I also got a garlic bread with Donna meat. Basically just Donna meat. A garlic bread. Okay, not a pizza. My bad. I'm sorry. I thought it was a pizza. So you had a pizza with Donna, with Donna meat. And then you had a kebab. And then, what, was that french fries I, I saw? So I went with my usual. Okay, we see this. The pizza with the Donna kebab. Sorry, yeah, that's a pizza. I don't give a fuck what anybody says. By the way, that's just for her mouth. No one else. I also got a garlic bread with Donna. She had a, a serving of fries. God damn, Becky. That's a lot. That's a lot of fries. Donna Go ahead. Meat. Basically just Donna. And a Donna kebab. Another a chicken kebab. Go ahead. Yup. Mm -hmm. Donna meat on top of the garlic bread. Damn, that's a and lot. And I also had a... Becky, that plate is so filled up that is literally off the side of the plate you you don't need to fill up the entire plate you don't i don't need like it's so much food here you you could probably bench press this shit and you would see some severe growth in your chest this is massive that's a giant norm that's a ginormous amount of food that's a big value of food oh my god I know you a big bit a big build individual but this is insane becky we're going too a chicken far chicken kebab and some chips I honestly love kebabs and garlic mayo is my favorite. How many times have I heard you say you don't like cheese, bro? You've been doing this shit too much, man. I'm sick of seeing Becky telling me she don't like something and then continuously body it. And the garlic bread as well. You know I love garlic bread. It's the future. You, you know what? I, what do you mean it's the future? What the fuck are you talking about, man? Like if somebody said electric cars is the future, I'd agree with you. If you said garlic bread is the future, what does that even mean? What the fuck are you talking about? It's like somebody saying like, oh yeah, oatmeal is the future. Why? Because it is? I don't fucking know. Doorknobs that go like this instead of like this? They're the future. Make sure you guys know. When you push and pull, that's the future, okay? Forget about everything else. That's the future. Just saying random things is the future. Come on, Becky. Get your shit together, okay? I'm just sick of seeing this girl eat out as much as she does and then represent the filter gang. It's too much filter action, dude. I'm seeing literal nothing on your face right now. You look like you don't have a single pore on your entire circumference of the face. Uh, did you know? I just the takeout queen. Just call me the takeout queen. That's sad, dude. Weren't you about to be the uh weren't you about to be the bypass queen? Weren't you about to get the surgery? Weren't you about to get the weight loss surgery? And now you just talk about some you talk a big game now. Now you over here representing the, the games out here talking about some oh yeah, I'm the takeout queen. That's crazy as hell. Can you imagine somebody literally going, I'm about to get this weight loss surgery and literally two months later being like, huh, I'm the takeout queen, num 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 body slamming literally every single night. At this point, when she goes, it's takeaway night every night. Every night is takeaway night. Becky has takeaway night literally like it's a, it's a holiday every day, man. What a beautiful person, man. I love that Becky didn't get that surgery. Because can you imagine how terrible it would have been for her? Given the fact that she can't she can't control how much she's eating right now. <laughs> and then a little bit later it's on. It's not even funny. It's actually kind of sad. I it's like somebody going, I'm the crack king. Oh, I just love dude. I just love crack so much. My teeth are gone. So that means I can suck more dick and get more money from sucking the dick. Guys love it when I give them that gum grip 1500. That <laughs> yeah, oh, you already know when my mouth hits the meat, the crack hits my lips. I love it. It's just too much for me. Same thing here. So it, it, it's the same energy. Some more bourbon biscuits. Damn. Because like I said. What? You had more bur bur bourbon biscuits, by the way, I believe, are just cookies, right? Like glorified cookies. So you're having glorified cookies after this shit? Was this not sufficient for your mouth? I absolutely love them. But I feel like I haven't done a food shop for ages since it was on the Yeah, because you, you're just getting takeaways literally all the fucking time. You know what I really hate now? is like here in America, we don't call it takeaways. We call it takeout. But I've been more and more saying takeaway. I don't know. Like I'm just becoming more and more culturally sound with the UK lingo. Uh, I've been picking up a few things too. Uh, let me chat to you, bruv. Oh, let me get the telly. Are you diluted? Right? I've been picking up. <laughs> I've been doing it, dude. You mans, right? I've been doing it, dude. I've been, I'm, 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 you know, I might invest in some tanner. Who knows? I might actually get some platform converse. Who knows? Cruise. So I'm going to go and get a proper shop when I'm home. Love might you. stab somebody too. Oh. Well. Get ready with me while I tell you about the funniest date that I've ever been on. Okay. Okay, we gotta talk about this for a second. Becky ain't never been on a date. I'm gonna keep it a buck. I know that's a double negative in the way I said that. Ain't get no. I know, I hate it too. But Becky has never been on a date. I just wanna keep it a buck. If Becky has ever been on a date, it's probably been months, my bad, years ago. Uh, 
I just don't get it from Becky. Becky just seems to get, Becky gives me virgin vibes. She just seems like a very innocent girly and that's all right. It's okay. You know, it's fine. Becky's really inexperienced when it comes to the sexual gang or um, when it comes to relationships and that's fine, dude. It's okay. She don't got to be anything other than what she is. I accept her for the way she is. I mean, obviously I don't accept the weight, but you know what I'm saying? I don't know why she got to lie like this. Becky, come on. Let's be honest here for a second. What date and where have you been on this date? Okay, so I don't really ever tell you about my dating experience because I- Because you don't have any? I like to keep it a little bit more private, but I'm partnering with Bado to be more real with you guys. You know what I love about Becky is that she'll apply this makeup stuff and then the filter will also be working simultaneously. And then I'm always just thinking, why? You know, like we're applying makeup on a filtered face. So not only is it not your face, but it's not your face. Sometimes the imperfect date can be the best ones, for sure. And this story is definitely a perfect example of that. So as you all know, I am not a fan of seafood or fish. I didn't know that. I mean, you told me you weren't a fan of cheese either, so I have no idea what you mean by that. And on this first date, he took me to a seafood restaurant. Did you not tell him that you didn't like seafood though? Like if somebody was like, hey, uh, we're about to go to the seafood. Usually they tell you right before, right? Usually before you go on a date, they text you like, hey, we're going to go to this place. And you go, ah, oh, I don't really fuck with that. And you go, oh, okay, let's no problem. We go to Five Guys or something like that. If you don't like seafood, then yeah, whatever. Like don't go. And then. I felt so bad telling him that I didn't like seafood because he was like, so excited anyway we go in and like literally straight away i feel so sick from the smell we sit down we look at the menu and i have no clue what to order i was probably just chicken and fries right they have chicken and fries at seafood restaurants i've been to seafood restaurants i live in i live in massachusetts we're, we're literally in the coast we have so many seafood restaurants here i don't like fish either so whenever i used to go i used to just get chicken chicken tenders and fries they serve that shit it's the same shit whatever and that's basically what she eats already so panicking still anyway we just carried on chatting and then he said what's your favorite on the menu he was so nice he was like choose anything but i literally looked at the menu to find the least fishiest so chicken i went for the pan seared scallops because i thought they were those little potato slices <laughs> let's just say i was so wrong but i tried it and let's just say after a few bites it wasn't that bad. So I went to the bathroom and I texted my friend saying that how I was in a seafood restaurant and it was the worst smell ever. It was my worst nightmare. But me being me, it turns out that I texted my date. No, no, it's bullshit. That, that this whole story is bullshit. I don't know why so many people got to lie about their dating experiences. I get it. This is a sponsored video for her, so she got to come up with some, you know, grandiose reason why you got to use this dating app or whatever the fuck she's advertising for this video or whatever. So you got to come up with something. I understand that. Maybe you just don't have anything in general, so you come up with very elaborate stories to try to make it seem like that's the real thing. Well, we all know that's not the case. You out here literally texting your friends and somehow you managed to send a text message to another person. How does that even happen? You just told me you were texting your friends. So that means you were in the chat bubble. You was in the chat dialogue. And somehow what? You, you had to have backed out saw the other text message, clicked on that, and then typed out that message, and then sent it to him. All, 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 and we're supposed to see that you're just ignorant on that? Come on, Becky, come on. Come on, dude, it's what it is. Just say this. Listen, guys, you know, and I know, I'm a virgin. I've never been on a date, ever in my entire, this is me being Becky, oh my God, guys, I've never been on a date, ever in my entire life. And so, because of that, I think, personally, you should click on this app. It's amazing. Oh my God, it's so great. I've did it for four weeks and I've got 10 matches. That's amazing. I've never got a match in my life. So here's what we do, guys. Make sure you click the link down below and then you'll get on this amazing app and maybe you'll see me because you know everybody wants to date Becky Jones. Just say that. You don't have to come up with this like bullshit ass story. Instead of my friend. And I didn't even realize this until I got back to the table and he asked for the bill. So then when we went outside, he said, bless him, you could have told me you didn't like seafood True. instead of texting me it. He was literally so kind about it, like straight away. So of course my face dropped, but I explained to him that it was meant to my friend and I didn't want to be disrespectful. Well, you were disrespectful. Either way, you were going to be disrespectful because you didn't tell the guy. You weren't being nice, you were just being a nuisance. In telling him. So then, after all that, we- I don't even know what the fuck I'm talking about, dude. This None of this happened. I don't even know why I'm, like, trying to- I don't know, man. Did up in a fast food place with a cheeseburger and an ice cream. And we, would, we just laughed about it. It was such a memorable date. And I-
the memorable date was that you went to a seafood restaurant, you accidentally texted the guy, and then he was like, oh, okay, let's just go to a place where you, you actually like and got burger and fries and ice cream. Okay. I just wanted to be a reminder to you guys that these imperfect moments are the ones that can make a date special. Badoo is the app for people who want to find something real. You can download Badoo now. What do you even mean by si like find something real? Like most dating apps have the intention to find something real. Like sure, Tinder has its negative context of like hookups or whatever the fuck. And Bumble, I think they actually had to change out their, their whole thing. You remember when Bumble at first, it was like, oh, women hit up men, right? Oh, take off the men don't hit up women or whatever. Then they had to change it because like they found out that even though women are the ones that are supposed to hit up men, it was never happening. Like I, I, I think I remember reading the statistic where it's like 90 percent of women that like the other guy never hit up the girl never hit up the guy which is just like what are we even doing here then can you imagine having a dating app where women never say anything ever and that's the only way you can communicate so they had to change it where men were hitting up women which defeated the entire purpose like your entire gimmick was that women hit up men and yet it never happened and now you had to change it because of that sad as fuck but anyway uh, most dating apps are there to find dates and sure you can have sex on dates and stuff like that but most dating apps are the same shit Badoo is the app for people who want to find something real. You can download Badoo now, which is in my bio. And also, let me know in the comments if you have any funny dating stories. That was a very, very good story, Becky. It was almost kind of believable a little bit. Cool. Uh, you kind of blew me away with your friends, and you blew me away with the date. Guys, no, it's stringy. It's very stringy. Hi everyone, so I am getting some dinner now, absolutely starving. So I've just looked at the menu and I'm going for a southern fried chicken burger. So I've gone for a southern fried chicken burger with some chips. Nearly need to cough. I'm only on a Pepsi so far. So far with that. But I'll show it when it comes. Right guys, so here is my chicken burger with the cheese Brown. on. I didn't know it come Why'd you... If you knew it was going to be cheesy, why'd you buy the cheese, dude? I don't know. I don't even know why the fuck we're talking about. This actually doesn't look good at all. This actually looks really de like bad, terrible. Usually they put the, usually they put the what is this shit called? Like the coleslaw. They usually put it in its own thing. Uh, onion rings and and fries and onion rings look really undercooked, super undercooked. Coleslaw and onion rings, and I got some chips. But look how thingy man, the onion rings look. I hope they taste nice. Well, the onion rings are bringy, so like they are onions. Have you ever never, have you ever never cut an onion in half? Like they're rings like you know what i'm talking about like shrek said it the best they got layers they've got layers you're welcome let's try an onion ring first now undercooked as fuck too bro you could tell man them things has not been in the fryer they must have threw them in there for like two seconds the like becky when she uh when she makes tea she just kind of throw it in for like one or two seconds an onion ring if you know you know if you bite it and it comes out whole it means they've been frozen if you bite it and it just comes off and it's all right clean bite it means that the fresh. I didn't know that. Frozen. So you bought frozen. So frozen as in like they bought them from the grocery store, like or whatever. That um, that's terrible, man. They don't even look cooked. Like they look literally so incredibly undercooked. It's all right. Mm. We'll give it a try. Well, you have to. You bought the food. Mm -mm. You can't fuck up French fries. Like there are very many. Like I know a lot of people don't like the Burger King French fries. They're not bad. They're all right. Like many people like will sit there and go, oh, McDonald's has the best. They do. Burger King's not bad though. Like it's not. It's not exactly even bad at all. I'm gonna need a knife and fork. Why? Mm. Sorry, sorry. I have a knife as well, please. We've got to cut this burger. To cut the well, burger in half is crazy work. Let's cut this burger. I shouldn't have got cheese. Oh, hey, it's going now. Wait till the burger was in the. Mm. Mm. I was laughing about when oh. you missed out your cheese. Oh no. Ugh. Mm. Right. If you didn't want the cheese, couldn't you just scrape it off like you were just doing right there? But I guess that doesn't really matter since you do actually like cheese. You're just lying to everybody. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! It's so good! I love it! It's so amazing! Mm. That sauce is lovely, guys. Yeah, whatever, dude. Shut up, man. <laughs> amazing, like that boyfriend that took you out on a date, huh? <laughs> Yeah, it's just like, oh, we have to invite chips and coleslaw. 
this chicken burger is banging there, but banging. hopes are all okay. Beginning of my little weekend away, and love you all. She's been on vacation for a while, man. She was she was at the cruise, and then she went to go visit Corey Leah and uh, his girlfriend at the at a hotel. And then, then she went back home, and now she's back on vacation. So, like, within the period of about three or four weeks, she's just been out of the house consistently over and over and over again. Which is good, because Becky, realistically, never goes outside. And when she doesn't go outside, it's very few and far between. And usually when she goes outside, she's just her going to fast food places. So, it's great that she's doing other things besides eating. But she's also eating, so I guess it's, like, defeating the purpose. <laughs> Shut up, dude. Hi, everyone, and welcome to my What I Eat in a Day. Why do you look like that, bro? It's so cringe. Mm. Hey, Hi, everyone. And welcome to my What I Eat in a Day. So for my it's a lot of Nutella right there on the top. Why don't we stir it in? Why, why is it just like two heaping spoonfuls of Nutella just chilling in randomly in the middle? That's just going to be like... You, you ever eat like onions on a burger and it's just on one side and you get like a solid bite of onions or like when you go to mcdonald's and you get a, a burger and they just put the pickles like on one side that's what this is like you, you, you just stir it around a little bit breakfast slash dinner i had warm wheat bits with nutella and i added some banana in this time with a nice cup of tea yes there's a lot of nutella on the spoon yeah no shit i used the one i did jesus it's a lot of fucking nutella yeah it's a lot of nutella that's a ton there's a ton of it into the Nutella pot. How many calories per ser per te te teaspoon? What is it, like 100 per teaspoon or something like that? <laughs> so we're, we're literally looking at like maybe 200, 300 calories easy. Just for that extra bit. Yes, I had a voice crack there. Don't judge me. Nutella goodness. But this is honestly a win-win breakfast. Just set you up for the day. Then I went bowling, had nice. some Pepsi. And I took my nephew Parker to McDonald's. For of course. You got to go to Mickey D's. When do you not go to Mickey D's? Of course. But we're not going to Mickey D's for the food. We're going to Mickey D's for the Monopoly games. That's why we're actually going. Or at least that's what Becky always says. Okay. I got a chicken sandwich. I basically got it plain. Well, I had mayo on it. And we got some chicken. That's basic then. McChicken sandwiches always come with mayo. Uh, I guess they come with lettuce too, don't they? I'm never buying a McChicken. They're way too expensive now. They're like three fifty, which is crazy. I used to buy them for one dollar Ray, and now I'm sitting here spending three, four times more on the same busket ass watermelon ass sandwich, dude. Fuck out of my face, dude. That shit is not worth it. Chips and a Coke Zero as well. I don't usually get them at Chicken Sandwich. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. It's a Black Panther helmet. I like it. Went to McDonald's, cool. but it was really good. Then I had some snacks a little bit later on, some Not cheese surprised. onion pom bears. You literally can't go wrong with them. Well, you can, especially at GSI's. Almost anything is going to be wrong at that And then size. this Halloween squares bar, chocolatey one. I prefer these to the marshmallow ones. So this is just a, I'm guessing, Rice Krispie treat, but chocolate Rice Krispie treat or like an off brand that turned it chocolate. Why is she always making these faces when she's eating this shit, bro? I just don't get it, man. It can't be that hard, bro. It was a little bit hard to bite. <laughs> I don't know if I put them in the fridge or not, but I hope you all had a great day Man. and I love you all. Deep throwing that shit. All right, guys, that's the end of the video. I hope everybody enjoyed today's video and our Becky adventures today. Um, if you watched today's video and you liked it, I appreciate if everybody can leave a like, a comment, a subscribe, sharing the video, all that stuff I'd appreciate tremendously. So if you can do any of that stuff for me, I would appreciate you tremendously. If you watch the video in its entirety, leave it down below by typing in vibrate because that very beginning section of the video was enlightening. It was beautiful. It was amazing. It was, oh, it really like made me feel good about myself knowing that Becky finally found something that she loves the most. And that's great. Besides food, there's always other things, right? Always. And you you know what? I know a lot of guys get a lot of bad reps for beating off consistently. Women beat off too. We need to make sure everybody understands this. I've known many women that actually go in public restrooms to beat off. They'll literally call me and like, hey, uh, where are you? And I'm like, oh, I'm over here. We're going to meet up. She goes, I need to beat off right now. I'll be right back. I'm going to call you when I'm done. I'm going to go into this public bathroom. I'm going to beat off real quick. I know plenty of women that do that. I knew a girl actually like a few years back that literally used to have one of those like roses or like the the Bluetooth roses she would just have to her phone and she would just periodically turn up the vibration on it and she would just like, she'd be sitting there in the middle of eating her food and she would just go, oh. And then she would just continue eating her Cobb salad or something like that because she would just have it on 24 seven, which is not good by the way, you're desensitizing yourself. Like your clitoris is not even gonna feel anything if I ever touch it, but uh, probably won't because it's probably inverted at that point because the, you, you, you've abused it consistently. Same thing with guys, a lot of guys will beat off until their penises invert themselves um, and they'll have like beat off blisters and stuff like that. It's a real tragedy, um, but anyway, doesn't matter. You're such an amazing person. I really care for you. I love the way you eat eat food with spoons 
it's a fairly delectable way your tongue hits the hits the bottom of that spoon. It's really great and amazing. I love that the also the fork placements and how you like turn it inside out and you eat it like that and you put it in your mouth. I like that. That's actually really great. I think that your eating habits are improved tremendously and I want to congratulate you for that. Good job on making your day better and more tasty and more lubricated through the process of drinking water. Thank you so much for watching today's video. If you want to check out my social medias down below, you can. They'll be all listed down there. Enjoy the rest of your day, guys.